Paul, you've been out. What? You've been out of your room. No, I haven't. Paul, the little ceramic penguin in my study always faces due south. I don't know what you're talking about. Looking for this? I know you've been out of your room at least twice. At first, I couldn't figure out how. But then I found your key. I know I left my book open in the study and I just can't imagine what you must be thinking. But you see, Paul, it's all going to be okay. Last night I realized you just need a little more time. You'll get used to the idea of being here. Paul, do you know about the early days at the Kimberly Diamond Mine? Do you know what they used to do to native workers who used to steal diamonds? Don't worry, they didn't kill them. That would be like junking a Mercedes because of a busted spring. No. They had to find a way to keep them working, but so that they can never run away again. The operation is called hobbling. Whatever you're thinking of, Annie, don't do it. Now, Paul, don't fuss. <laughs> Why would I run? I'm a writer, Annie. That's all I am. And I've never written this well. Even you said so. This is my best, didn't you? Didn't you? I mean, why would I run away from a place that I do my best work? It doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Trust me, darling. It's for the best. Annie, God, no. Oh, God! Oh. One more. Oh. God! Oh. oh, God. I really love you. Thank you.